Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email with Outlook using PyWin32 library. Before I dive into the tutorial, you'll need to have Outlook application installed. All right, so here let me go into straight to the Python script. Now let me import the Win32 uh, library. So I'm going to type import win 32 client. Here let me increase the font size. I'm going to name the library as Win32. Now I'm going to construct my Outlook application instance to connect to the Outlook application. Here I'm going to reference the Win32 library dot dispatch. I'm going to insert the application name Outlook application. Next, I need to create a namespace object. The namespace object is a object reference that Outlook uses to connect to the messaging API. Here I'm going to reference the Outlook application object. Dot get namespace. And I need to insert the Outlook Messenger API name. And it's going to be M API. Now let me pull out the documentation from Microsoft's uh, website. All right, so we'll be using some of the enumeration type uh, pretty soon. Now let me go back to my Outlook application. And here let me create a new email. Right, so this email item is going to be a mail item object. Now going back to the Python script, I'm going to name my object mail item and from the Outlook application dot create item. I want to create an Outlook mail item object. Now going back to the documentation, here we have a list of Outlook items that we can create. And because my main objective is to send an email, so I'm going to reference this uh, Outlook mail item uh, enumeration type. And the value is going to be zero. So here I'm going to insert zero to create my mail item object. And this mail item object is basically uh, this email itself. So from the email message, I can provide the subject. And let's call the subject hello123. And we can insert some text to the uh, email body. Now let me go back to the documentation. Now let's go to a different enumeration type. Under the Outlook body format enumeration uh, list, here we have four different types of uh, email body type. And for this exercise, I'm going to insert my email body as just regular text. All right, so from the mail item object, I want to uh, specify the body format. And it's going to be plain text. So I'm going to insert one. And to insert the content to the email body, from the mail item object, I want to reference the body property. Inside the email body, I'm going to just say hello there. If you want to insert your email body as HTML markup, what you want to do is you want to here let me type the uh, mail item object dot body format. And if we look at the enumeration type for HTML, it's going to be two. So here under the body format property, we need to assign to, to specify that we want to send the email with HTML markup in the body content. And to insert the HTML markup, you want to reference the HTML body property. You want to insert your uh, HTML markup inside this string. I'm going to come out these two lines. All right, so the next item I want to provide is the uh, recipient's email address. And let's say I want to send an email to myself. I'm going to use my dummy account. And it's going to be a Gmail account. You're not limited to use Outlook domain. You can use other third-party email domains as well. All right, so here from the recipient's email address, it's going to be data dummy account at gmail.com. Now let's say from your uh, Outlook application, you have multiple accounts tied to this application. Right now my Outlook application has three accounts. One is my Learn Data Analysis Domains account, one is the Gmail account, and one is the Outlook account. And my default account is the JJ YouTube channel at Outlook.com. And I want to use a different account. This one's a little bit tricky. All right, so here we want to uh, insert the mail item object. Then want to type underscore OLE object OBJ underscore dot invoke. 
Do you want to insert the wildcard symbol? Open parenthesis. Do you want to type 64 209 comma 0 comma 8 comma 0? Do you want to reference the namespace object? Da accounts. Da item. Now we can specify the account that we want to use. Now let's say I want to use my data dummy account at gmail.com. Then I need to type the account's email address to indicate that I want to use this account to send an email. Now we have three options. We can display the email message. Oh, here, let me, let me run this code block. We can save the email in the draft folder. Or we can send the email using the same method. Now, if I go to my data dummy account at gmail.com, and I believe that uh, right now it's still send, trying to send the email. And I send a new income email. Yeah, let's see. And here's the email that I sent using my Python program. Now, if I look at the email addresses, so here's the from account to account email body message, and the title. All right, so this is something to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.